unlike we human beings who can just swallow appetizers to make us boost appetite in chicken to improve their feed intake the solution lies in the feed and also the environment that they are living in in this video I want to tell you how to modify the chicken feed and environment so that you can be able to easily boost their feed intake for faster growth and production. But before we continue with this video, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who have subscribed to our YouTube channel, everyone who likes our videos for the way they educate them. And also for those that, you know, who share and watch all our videos that we post in this channel. Thank you so much because now we are almost reaching a hundred thousand subscribers on this channel. And we are looking forward to create more content that is educative. And also we want to expand our social media outreach so that we can be able to connect more with the farmers so that we can be able to solve other problems that you may get in the farm. Therefore, so that you cannot miss out on all these updates kindly hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel also make sure to hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time that we post a video on this channel also hit that like button if you get to learn from our videos in getting back into the video some farmers may think that there is a a secret treat or a secret supplement that you can give to your chickens so that you can be able to boost their feed intake but to be honest there is no need to spend your money on maybe some of the products that may be in the market you can be able to improve the conditions in your farm so that uh, you can be able to boost this feed intake and number one is about the crumbles and the pellet feed the crumbles are good for the chicks well the pellets are usually used for the growers the layers and also for the finisher broilers and the crumbles and pellets are the best forms to feed your chickens especially broilers because the nutrients are compacted together in the particles using uh, pressure so that uh, they are easily palatable to chicken the crumbles and the pellets are the best form because when a chicken pecks on one pellet or a crumble there is a lot of feed that is compacted com compared if you feed the chickens the mashed feed this feed that is compacted into a crumble or a pellet when the chickens eat it it ends up eating more nutrients and this is the one way of increasing the feed intake another thing is that these crumbles and pellets prevent the chicken from from selecting certain feed ingredients in the feed the second thing that will help to in increase the feed intake is the lighting especially in the chicks For, in the first week the chicks should be provided with sufficient light and this is because if the chicks cannot be able to see the feed properly then they are not going to feed fully and this is going to derail the growth of your birds another thing is that older birds especially the broilers they should have a minimum of 16 to 18 hours of light and they should be given at least six to eight hours of rest the third thing is the using a balanced diet make sure that the feed that you are using is balanced and because this is because chicken feed intake is based or is dependent on the nutrient composition and for example chicken usually eat to meet their energy requirements therefore when a feed have an unbalanced high energy this leads to low feed intake and this is because the feed that the, ch the chickens need to eat less because the feed have a lot of energy therefore the chicken will meet its energy requirement but it will end up eating less of the other nutrients on this will affect the growth and also the production another thing if the feed is poorly unbalanced and it has low energy this will mean that the the bird will have to eat a lot of feed but 
as it eats a lot of feed, it cannot eat forever because the size of the crop is going to regulate what the chickens eat. And this usually brings insufficiencies in the intake of the other nutrients. And this is just one example of how poor balancing of feed can affect the feed intake and also the growth of your chicken. Therefore, you should ensure to buy feeds from a reputable company or make your own feeds with the help of, of a professional animal feed nutritionist. The other important thing is the temperature and the ventilation. Extreme temperatures are not good for the feed intake of the chickens because when the high when there's high temperatures this causes heat stress and when there's heat stress there is usually a reduced feed intake another extreme is the low temperatures when there's low temperatures the chicken will experience the cold stress surprisingly the cold stress will make the chickens to eat more therefore there there will be increased feed intake but the feed that has been eaten, most of it is going to be used to produce energy, which is now going to be turned into heat. Therefore, it is not converted into building muscles or into production. Therefore, you should make sure that the temperatures in your broiler uh, or in your chicken house is at average or is at the standard room temperatures. Because under the standard room temperatures, the chickens usually have an optimum feed intake and these is going now to lead to a good feed conversion efficiency. The fourth important thing is the water availability. Access to water is usually taken for granted, but an important thing to note is that any factor that is going to affect the water intake in chicken, this will directly lead to a decreased feed intake. And this is because intake of water is directly proportional to the intake of feed in the chickens. Therefore, the water should be provided at all time. Make sure that you check the uh, for blocked nipples if you are using the automatic or the automatic nipple drinking system. And also, make sure that the water is of good quality. The sixth thing that is going that affects the feed intake is the anti-nutritive factors and these anti-nutritive factors for example the gossip oil, it is toxic to chicken and if present in the feeds it can cause negative effects and one of the effects is that it decreases the feed intake therefore again buy feeds from a reputable company and also the feed ingredients should be bought from a reputable feed ingredient suppliers the other thing is about the flavor of the feeds. The chickens have little sense for taste and flavor in the feeds, but poorly stored feed may develop molds and aflatoxins, which decreases the feed intake in chicken. Therefore, it, it's advisable that you buy feeds in monthly batches. That is, you estimate and know that this feed that I have bought is going to end after one month. And after that one month is over, then you buy another feed for another one month and this helps to prevent the cases of you know in aflatoxins as you take these measures so that you can be able to boost the feed intake of your chickens i also recommend that you hit the video that is on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the feed formulation and feeding program for the local chicken